Shalom, Israel. Kahala Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, the GMS. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. The GMS uh, stop and listen, coming with another lesson, man. Following this truth, man, because uh, we about to get out of here, you know. And and the prophecies speak of it. And there's prophecies all out through the, the Bible, man, the Holy Bible, you know. And now I'm in the Apocrypha, reading in the Apocrypha. Second Ezra, which is part of the Bible that was taken out. This is Second Ezra, and it's going to show you that the destruction is coming. It's going to be nuclear to America, man. You know, so the thing you see with Trump and Kim Jong Un all meeting in these different G7 summits they're having, it's all a culmination of them coming to this Third World War, man. That's the Most High putting the Spirit on them to do His will. So it's coming down to it, you know. And, and this is a prophecy that's going to speak of the destruction. It's going to be thermonuclear. It's Second Ezra 16 to a Second Ezra 16 and 1. Woe be unto thee, Babylon, and Asia. Woe be unto thee, it says, and Syria. So these are names. Babylon is another name for America. Egypt is another name for America because America is spiritually, uh, spiritually known as Egypt. Right. Let me show you that. Revelation 11 and 8, it says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that great city that which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. It said their dead bodies, man, shall lie in that great city, that great city being America. Their dead bodies being the two thirds, man, that are spiritually dead to this truth. It said they're going, they shall lie in the street. It shall lie, meaning upon or before a position against, across a place of, of time, place, and order. So, basically, of time, place, and order, everybody's in their right for a lot. Because two thirds were, it was prophesied that two thirds. We're, we're going to be destroyed by the Lord. So that means two thirds are going to remain dead, man. You know, it says metaphorically a failure, defeat, calamity, a fall, a downfall. That which is fallen, the fallen body of one dead or slain, an error lapse into sin, man. So two thirds, two thirds of our people, they're going to remain in that. That sinful state, that dead state, man, not knowing the truth in this great city of America, which is spiritually called Sodom, man, in Egypt. And America takes on all the philosophies of ancient Egypt and Sodom, man. You know, they are the same people. We know what went on in Sodom, and it goes on here in America, man. You know, the philosophies, the the, the way of life uh, says where also our Lord was crucified. Was he crucified in Sodom or was he crucified in Egypt? No, he was crucified in Israel. So where was that place that he was crucified in that, in this great city where they, they uh, painted, did iconoclasm, changed the image, right? Changed the image of the Lord and X him out and put a uh, Serapis up, uh, Cesare and Serapis, you know, in, in place of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. He was X'd out over here. That's how he was X'd out, you know. Go back. It, back in uh, Second Ezra 16, it says, Woe be unto thee, Babylon, and Asia. Woe be unto thee, Egypt and Syria. It says, Girt up yourselves with sack, clothes of sack, and hair and be well your children and be sorry for your destruction is at hand. So we telling we telling the nation of Edom, man, so called white man, that is his, his destruction is at hand. And we telling two thirds of our own people. You should be more than now, man, because you will be destroyed in a in a basically like a vicious manner. You know, the Lord Lord is gonna destroy you. That's why you see all these old all these famines and pestilence that are overtaken. You see, you see uh, different things that happen in volcanoes, you know, 
The Most High is about to turn your feast of mourning, right? Your your feast into a, a mourning and songs of lamentation, man. You know, you about to turn his anger up. You know, and turn his and turn his back totally from two thirds. He just gonna turn his anger up on Esau. You know, it speaks about that in uh, Nahum, the first chapter. It says a sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? Right? It says a sword is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? The, a sword of calamity, a sword of famine, utterly this nuclear destruction, which you can't stop. You know, the famine, the pestilence, you know, you can't stop these prophecies, man. This is judgment of the Lord. You know, once the missiles come out them silos, ain't nobody going to be able to stop them, man. You know, it says um, a fire is sent among you who may quench it. Plagues are sent unto you. And what and what is he that may drive them away? So all these calamities are sent upon you. This is how you know we at the end. You know, when the plagues came, did not the same thing happen in Egypt when the Lord sent the plagues? And then it was the end of Egypt, man. You know? So they, they all this is going to be put up on you. Verse 6, may any man drive away a hungry lion in the woods, or may any anyone quench the fire of stubble, when it is brought, when it is begun to burn. So you're going to be going in, out of one dilemma to another. When it speaks of Amos the fifth chapter, when it starts around 18, it talks about fleeing from a lion and a bear met him. You got away from the bear and put your head on the wall and a, and a serpent bit you. That's one dilemma after another. You know, they're going to, they're going to, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, in that day, you're going to desire for that understanding, man, that day of the Lord. But it's 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 not gonna come to you. Just one bad dilemma after another one until the missiles hit you, man. You know, that's gonna be that last dilemma. You know, all that's gonna be a dilemma. The chariots, the plagues, everything. It says, May one turn again the arrows that is shot of a strong archer. They mean these missiles missile uh silos, man. Those are the modern day archers. You know, it says the mighty lawyer, how about Shimei Shai, sent the plagues. And who is he that who is he that can drive them away, man? Who is he that could drive them away? A fire shall go forth from his wrath. And who is he that may quench it, man? So when that fire go out, hey, you ain't going to be able to stop it, man. You know, so so you men of Israel, you need to circumcise your minds and come back to to the right way and repent, man. We call them for them elect brothers, man, to go ahead, you know, wake up, you know, basically quit being stiff necked, you know. And they, it's possible they could all be walking by now. But if they not, we call it, man, so we can get up out of here, you know, and it says, verse 10. He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid, man? So in these lasers, hey, this them lasers coming out them chariots, man. You know, that's gonna be that's gonna be the 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 the, the conquering time of Yahweh, Shai, man. You know that superior force in battle is coming to defeat and destroy you, Edomites, man. It says the Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten into powder, man. So these are the people that are in America, man. You know, the Lord tells you that in the 13th chapter, when, when he hits you with them, with them blasts of lightning, that, that flaming of the breath, it's going to blast you into powder, man. You know, it's going to blast you into powder. Let's get us another scripture. Um, Luke 12, Luke 12 and 49, I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I, if it be already kindled, man? He say he come to send fire, man. He didn't say nothing about no love and daisies, man. He said, I 
and I come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? So the Lord is saying he wished that it was already burnt when he got here. You know, so, man, it's going to be a, a, a it's going to be a rough time for you Edomites, man, in that, in that day, man. And two thirds of our own people. It says the earth quaked and the foundations thereof, the sea arises up with waves from the deep and the waves of it are troubled. And the fishes thereof also before the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and before the glory of his power. So even the water going to be afraid, man. Even the waters are going to be afraid. Uh, that's going to be a, 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 it's going to be a hell of a day, man. Let's see here. I think water's afraid. Let's see. Let's lock here. I think that's. See the waters, Psalm 77, Psalm 77 and 16. The waters saw thee, O power. The waters saw thee, they were afraid. The depths also were troubled, man. So it's gonna be a rough time, man. The waters are gonna be afraid, man. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a rough time when that time comes, man. You know, it says, Behold, the plagues are sent. And shall not return again until they have come up on the earth. So when they're sent out. Well, let me go back. I missed the scripture. 13. 2nd 16 and 13. For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow and his arrows. That he shooteth a sharp and shall not miss. When it began to be shot from the ends of the world. So these are going to be shot. The Lord is directing these missiles, man. He's going to be riding with the angels. Uh, on 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 the missiles, man. In the missiles, man. Spirit is gonna be in the missiles of vengeance, man. You know, the shot to the ends of the world because they're gonna be shooting from Russia, China, Korea, Pakistan, India, Great Britain. They all have to have the nuclear capabilities. Iran. They're gonna be shooting towards the ends of the world, which is what America, man. That's the end of the world, which they're gonna be shooting towards, man. You know. Let me see if I could pull up another scripture. Solomon 5. Let's see what that scripture said. It says, it was in Solomon 5 and 21. Then shall the right aiming thunderbolts go abroad. This is another name for the missiles, the aiming thunderbolts. And from the clouds as well. As from a well-drawn boat, those missile silos, shall they fly to the mark? So they're going to hit that mark, man. They're going to hit their mark. The, the missiles, man. When they fly, they're going to hit their mark, man. You know? Uh, let's see what this scripture says. Psalms. Let's try this one. Psalms 45 and 5. Thine arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies, whereby the people fall under thee, man. So everybody under this under this umbrella of America, you're going to be burnt up when these missiles get shot, man. Because the king's enemies is going to be the, in, the people of the other nations. It speaks of that in Revelation 17 chapter, man. How they're going to hate the whore. So, hey, it's going to be a... a, a, a it's gonna be a a, a a frightening time, but that's the that's the time of the end. We 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 welcome that in, man, because we need that, man. We need that to get up out of here, man. Because years ago we didn't have this technology, we didn't have this technology, man. So now we witness it, witnessing right before, you know, basically was what's going down. We in that time, man, in that generation. That witnessed the, the growth of the technology that was that's, that was going to destroy America, man. It says, behold, for, verse 14, the plagues are sent and shall not return again. So these missiles get shot just like an arrow being shot out of an archer's uh, bow. It's, it's not going to return like a boomerang. You know, it's going to go until it hits, it hits its target. It says, until they come up on the earth because they're going to be shot. From the uh, through the stratosphere, they're gonna come across the stratosphere and enter back into the atmosphere, right? 
the the uh, uh, troposphere, and then they're gonna hit the hit the targets. You know, thermonuclear destruction, man. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundations of the earth. So it's not gonna be put out until it it it, it consumes all of uh, Esau's kingdom, man. You know. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returneth not backwards, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again, man. So nothing gonna be able to stop these missiles. America won't have a defense system that's gonna stop these missiles, man. It says, Woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days? This is Ezra, man. So he gonna be afraid. Cause he said, Woe is me, who gonna deliver me in those days, man? You know? He's prophesying this back during the uh, uh the uh like Persian Empire, you know. So who said who's going to deliver me in those days? Letting you know reincarnation because he's he's back here. Ezra is back here, you know. Probably some brothers in the camp pushing the truth, man. You know, one of you heavy brothers out there, man, because Ezra is a heavy book. So if somebody's out there, Ezra. You know, so, hey, man, with that, we look forward to that day because this is, you know, we, th these things have to happen for the kingdom of heaven, you know, to be established back through your power. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. With that, all praise be to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, GMS, who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. It's GMS, stop and listen. Shalom.